welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and this is Nigel. And this is the second half with part two of Nigel Picks My TBR, Nigel. And it is about this big old book here, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, that he chose. Don't look away from it now, you chose this book. Look at it, look at it. You chose this book. So this is future Jessica um, talking to you first. So I will throw it back to past Jessica and Nigel during their reading experience. But uh, I felt betrayed when he chose this book. I felt like he didn't love me. After all the things that I've done for him, all the sacrifices I make, he chose the beginning of a 14 book series for his mama to read. That was 657 pages. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. Um, and my experience reading it. And then at the end, um, I'll give a recap, obviously of my feelings. And then I'm finally gonna watch the trailer because I have not watched the trailer to see if I'm gonna watch it or not. But if you wanna know my feelings about this book, you gotta stay tuned. So enjoy. Say bye, we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> look at his little face. <laughs> look, Nigel, look. Look at the snack. Good little snack. Good little snack and waggle. He's like, ma'am, it's my nap time, please. I'm sorry, boo boo. So, I don't know how well this is gonna work out. It's like 12 something. And I just got off of reading sprints because I have not been doing well with reading Eye of the World. But my goal was to get to 100 pages tonight because I was sitting at page eight and I did that. So I just got, well, the chapter ended at, um, the chapter ended at page 99 so like perfect for me um, so now it's after midnight I'm going to wash my face so I'm gonna get ready for bed while I just tell you my initial thoughts I started I originally read Eye of the World like or tried to read Eye of the World a couple years ago and couldn't get into it so this time I read the prologue and I'm like okay that was a lot and then I got through like page eight in chapter one and I was like, oh, I just need a break. And then I didn't go back to it for like two weeks. So I finally was like, okay, maybe I should get the audio. And then I was trying to listen to the audio just like on its own, like when I walk to Nigel and stuff. And that wasn't working. I was not, I was like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I need to follow along with the book. So then I was like, that's why. That's when I came up with the thing to do threats to keep me accountable. So that's what I did tonight during threats. I listened to the audio and at first I started off slower. I ended up speeding it up to where I'm comfortable and following along in the physical book. So at first I will say like those first 20 something pages. I mean, it's a lot after the prologue. You're just like a lot of, you know, new names and it's a fantasy world, of course. So they're not just like Joe and Kendra, you know, there are all these uh, fantasy type names and, and places that you're being introduced to in the story. And so at first I was like, mm -hmm, this is a little, this is a little much. But then it started to get a little better and I was starting to see, you know, characters that, or I'm like, okay, I know who this is, you know, bringing a certain person back in. I'm like, all right, I know who this person is. Okay, this is this guy, Rand. He's definitely gonna be important. And here's his dad, and here's his friends. And then this more game lady, which I've heard of just uh, from existing on the internet. And now with the TV shows, I heard that name before. And um the town's like preparing for kind of this festival and then so i was getting back into it because you know i haven't been reading a lot of fantasy especially not like epic adult fantasy and um then it started moving a lot better after i would say the first like 20 30 pages after kind of getting acquainted with where we are, who some of the main characters were, it was starting to move. And like I said, 
the audiobook was such a good decision and then things started happening a little quicker than i actually thought they would start popping i feel like someone told me that after a hundred pages it starts to move and i felt like it started moving a little bit sooner than that and so i was doing this during sprints i'm embarrassed at how cluttered my countertop is i will not show you that it was starting to move and then in like the last 20 pages i was like oh my god it wasn't more than the last 20 pages at least the last like 20 25 pages i'm like oh my god and um so i finished through chapter eight so i'm i feel a lot more optimistic and um definitely more inclined to read tomorrow because it was picking up already and it looks like we're about to start a journey kind of with one of the characters and i'm nervous because when there's like a journey in a book it's it could be hit or miss for me sometimes it's done really well where i'm like kept entertained and sometimes i just find like a journey or a travel i find it really boring so i'm hoping I'm hoping this one keeps my interest because <laughs> 100 pages, I still do have over 500 pages to go. So hopefully, I didn't mean to put this on yet. Oh well, too late. <laughs> hopefully it keeps me interested. I don't know if I'm gonna do sprints again tomorrow, but I do hope to read another 100 pages because I just need to get through this because I've been putting it off and um, it would just be better if I got through it. So I recently got this lip scrub by Le Ocetan. Le Ocetan, I don't know, it's French. And I just use like literally the smallest amount on my lip and I love it. I got the raspberry in it. It reminds me of raspberry sorbet. It feels so nice. And it smells delightful. But hopefully, if I can read another 100 pages, like basically for the rest of this week, then I'll almost be done. And basically, I can be finished with this book. So, the getting good next week, edit a vlog, and get it. <laughs> and y'all could be seeing this because it's long overdue. And we'll see if Nigel chose a good book or not. Right now, I, I can't tell you. You know, I've only read like 12% of the story. So I don't know. Um, but truly, this lip scrub and then the lip mask. I mean, it's luxury, honestly. That's my little treat yourself. Because for little, little things, they're pricey, but you, I use kind of a lot. <laughs> you don't use a lot, so they last a while. But I still feel like it's a treat yourself kind of thing. And then I also, I've tried this before, but I finally got like a bigger size of this. This by Le Alcetan too, uh, hand cream. And it always makes me feel like a housewife in like a TV show or a movie, because I feel like they always put on a hand cream before they go to bed. They're like always like walking into their bedroom in their little nighty. <laughs> okay, I can never get this back on. And they're just always like, you know, rubbing in their hand cream. So there's me living my TV sitcom dreams. And there are my thoughts on the first hundred pages of the eye of the world. But now I'm gonna go to bed. I also, you didn't see it, but I brushed my teeth before I did all of this because I don't like it to get on my skincare. So I brushed my teeth, mouth, wa mouth washed, then I did this. Last thing, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Good morning. It is Friday, whatever day this is. There's Nigel. We just got back from a morning walk. It wasn't as long as I would like because Nigel was acting a fool and I'm just so tired. 
I tried to read 100 pages last night, but I just couldn't stay awake, so I did get through 60 pages. Um, we're continuing on this journey that they're on away from the town we started in, and um, so a lot, some of it, a lot, a lot of it has been a lot of like description of the places they're going and stuff, but um, also getting a little bit of like lore and like talking about different beings and stuff. So it's still going pretty good um listening to the audio i did slow so i had the audio going at 2.5 because i'm also reading along with the book but i slowed it down to like 2.3 2.2 um just i think that's better <sighs> because even though i'm looking at the words it's a lot so i hopefully i don't know in a, in a um perfect world i would finish the 40 pages today that i wanted to read last night and then also read another 100 pages but it's a lot it's not like 100 pages in a romance novel or like a middle grade it's like 100 pages with really small words <laughs> even listening to the audio because sometimes you know sometimes i miss something or sometimes i pause because i want to make a note or you know put a tab or whatever so it's not just like you know for me at least i can't just like plow through so I will try to make as much progress as I can. I just have so much stuff that I'm trying to do during the day. I'm looking at my rug and realizing I need to vacuum. A never ending story. Like I need to clean, I need to do laundry, all these things anyway, it doesn't matter. So, so far, so decent, you know, so good. I'll say so far, so good. You know, it's not horrible. It uh, definitely picked up once I got past for like the first 50 pages. So we'll see and I'll update you later when I read some more. So, um, he's just hovering. I don't know what he wants. What do you want? Actually, I know what he wants. He wants me to eat. What do you want? Max, you want to eat? You want to eat? That's exactly what he wants. Hello. So I caught up on my pages that I didn't get to last night. I read about 40, so I'm on page 203. And I just uh, warmed up some leftovers, just some chicken and rice that I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna get back to reading. I told, I don't know if I said this here, but I told myself I was gonna record a video today and then I just decided I'm not going to. And instead I'm gonna read because I've been doing a bunch of stuff during the day, putting off my reading towards the end of the night. And then I get really tired. So I'm gonna read during the day and then I will be doing um, an hour of studying later. But yeah, I'm gonna eat. Um, so they are in this little town for a little while and we're just, I don't know, there's like not a lot happening, but it's also, I'm not bored because it's obviously like a journey somewhere and some of the main characters like Rand, they're kind of questioning if they did the right thing and leaving their town. So we'll see where this goes. I would love to read another 100 pages. Today, I would be almost halfway through this book. I don't know, but we'll see, I'll check in later. So I'm reading on the floor. It's long, it's not a long story, I just, straightened up and put all the throw pillows on the couch and I don't want to mess it up. I've got my buddy here. He's sleeping on his little bed. So I've read 60 more pages. I am shocked. So I definitely am feeling when, when people are like, it definitely gives you like Lord of the Rings vibes. Because I've only read Fellowship of the Ring, but just uh, some of the things they mention, like there's essentially these people who lived in this little town they're more like farmers and then they get attacked by these beings and these two people from out of town come in and they're like we've got to go because you, they came for a certain reason for you three so it's making me think of like when Frodo and crew left the Shire and especially when they had just gone to this town it made me think of when they got to the inn and uh found Aragorn <laughs> so it's not like exactly, but it's just giving me those vibes. And they're being attacked again by things. And it's just making me think of that. I will say a lot of, there is a lot of words, like a lot of descriptors. I'm like, which was a struggle for me with Lord of the Rings, where I can like get into the story. And then there's just like a lot of like words that aren't necessary. And I'm like, okay, Robert let's keep it moving but um yeah right in the 60 pages and i need to go change out some laundry but i don't want to get up because he'll probably get up if i get up and i love 
uh, a peaceful sleeping Nigel. But I'm on my way to reading another 100 pages. See, when I uh, put down all other things on my to-do list, like just ignore them, I can read so much. <laughs> I also don't think I would be this far if I hadn't had the audiobook. I think I would just get so bored with all the descriptors and stuff. Um, and I really like the audiobook narrator. So that's helping. So I am going to call it right now. I'm going to say that I'm going to be able to read another 40 pages and hit my 100 page goal for today. And I kept caught up from yesterday. Tonight's dinner is this bomb ass ham sandwich. Salmon and her chips. Uh, strawberry crystal lot. Ooh, is my hand ashy? And I'm going to do a little writing. Cute. It's 11.45 p.m. I ended up reading way more than I thought. So, like I said, I caught up on my 40 pages from yesterday. Then I read my 100 pages for today. And then I read another 100 pages. So I read about 240 pages today. Um, look at that. I have, I have crossed over the halfway mark. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So I do, over the, the last, I will say, the last two chapters that I listened to, I kind of was falling asleep. Uh, Cause I'm tired, it's almost midnight. So I'm definitely going to re-listen to them tomorrow and then continue. But it's Friday night. And so I have like 260 pages left. I'm gonna finish this book this weekend. What? Yeah, I am. I am. I would say I would finish, I'm not, probably not gonna finish it tomorrow because I need to do things I ignored today. But I'm definitely gonna finish it by the end of Sunday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna take me to like the beginning of next week to finish and then I'd have to edit this vlog but go me so I will say that I'm uh, I'm enjoying it um I still don't think that he uses too many words too much description where I'm like okay 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 I get it Robert oh my god just look how cute he is can you even I literally cannot even. Oh my gosh, look at him. Mm. He's such an angel. A demon, but an angel. Um, and I said earlier that journeys in a fantasy book are hit or miss for me. I'm not hating this one, even though uh, the group got split apart, which uh, I still like I hate it, but I'm just like, mm, how long is it gonna take them to get back together? So they're like, they're like in three different group or pairs. And I'm like, <laughs> when are they going to get back together? So uh, they are supposed to be going towards one place. But then this one pair, they're like, well, no, we're going to go to this place. I'm like, no, don't go there. Go to where y'all are supposed to rendezvous. Um, so I'm like, I need y'all to get back together. I... I'm okay with people getting separated as long as it just takes forever. When it takes forever, I just am like, <laughs> please find each other. So that's the main part is we're, we're alternating between the people who are separated and the different paths. Like they're trying to figure out, are the other ones alive or dead? Where's the best place to go that these things that have attacked them won't find them, but they keep finding them. So then they have to keep moving. And it's like, sometimes I really like it because like I love descriptions especially in fantasy books of food so like when they talk about food I'm always like I don't know I love when they're talking about a big old hunk of crusty bread and some stew and I don't know I just love food descriptions um and they were there's sections where they're doing that really setting the scene or like they came across these people and they were describing like Ooh, sorry and their food and music and all this stuff and I was just like really picturing it in my head and also I think because I haven't read fantasies in so long like an epic fantasy that 
am more forgiving right now because I'm not like, oh my god, I just read something like this. Um, so I feel like this probably was a good time to read it and not just amongst many fantasy reads. Hello. Um, so I'm rereading some of the pages that I fell asleep on last night and I'm like, Egwene girl, stop asking so many questions. You know things are after you. So when they're like, put up the fire, pack up the shit, let's go. Stop asking questions, girl. Do it and go. You ask questions later. Oh, you know these white people because black people wouldn't be asking questions. They'd be like, Psh, I'm out. Egwene working my nerve now. much I have left. I'm on page 498. Cause I'm so close. I'm gonna finish this today. I only have like 166 pages left. Okay, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I am on page 554. It's like 7 p.m. We're doing breakfast for dinner. So I'm getting some eggs. There's, oh, I would show you my oven, but it's dirty in there. <laughs> There's biscuits in the oven, some sausage. Um, what do you like to put on your biscuits? Cause for me, the answer is, I mean, um, I can eat them plain, um, but also gripe, jelly. Well, this is jam, whatever. The best, honestly, the best. So that's dinner. Nigel's eating. He's been eating so much grass today. I'm very worried for me because he's gonna throw up. Like he'll be fine, but you know, for me. <laughs> um. So, ah. Uh, um. Can I say this? Is it a spoiler? They're reunited. I'm so happy. Uh, lots been. Lot has been happening. I have about a hundred. Okay. Can I put this down? Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, somehow I bleach, I don't know how I got bleach all over this. I'm very upset. Anyway, they're reunited and it feels so good. Sorry, um, things, plans are changing because revelations have been made. Some secrets have come to the light. I am worried. Um, I think at this point, like I like Rand uh matt has been getting on my nerves there's a reason the other dude Perrin, is that his name he's fine um my faves right now are rand morgan and land is that his name uh the the warder i was about to say warden but i'm like that's not it. you know this is spoiler free but I, I'm enjoying it and I am shocked. I guess I owe Nigel an apology. I'm shocked. Like I said, I have like 110 pages left. I'm actually gonna finish this book tonight. And I'm going to read the second one. Uh, I don't know when, but I am. I think, I think had I just read it physically, I would not have these feelings. I think the audiobook is really great. And there's this new character we met um, in the last 100 pages and he is like, is he like a person? He's like a different, like a, a creature. And I, I love the voice for him. And he seems really great. And I think he's tagging, he's adding to the, the merry band of, of people. And so I'm like, yes. So I really love his character. Is his name like Lo, 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 Lo. <laughs> um, But loving that character and like things are, mmm, mmm. Sorry, it's dark. I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor, I found that I can't get comfortable enough to fall asleep so I can read longer. But, so this is weird. There's a line that said, the horses might have been walking a treadmill for the change around them. I just, that's weird to me in a fantasy novel to have the word treadmill. Is that weird? Is that normal? I don't know, it was weird to me. Okay, I am tired. 
I guess the floor does not prevent me from getting sleepy. It just, uh, I don't get sleepy as fast as if when I'm on the couch, but I have 70. Uh, no, but somebody was there. I'm trying to do math. 73 ish pages, 70, 75 ish pages left. And I'm like, you know, there's a lot happening. I'm just tired. I've been reading all day. And I'm laying, so I might have to sit up. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna sit up. Okay. Look who came to join us. You see that? Is that you? So, I guess I'm not sitting up. Hopefully I finish. All right, you are back with me, my nappy head. Maybe it's kind of good that it's cut off, but surprise, I enjoyed this book. I haven't given it a rating on Goodreads. I would say we give it like a 3.75, um, rounding up to four. So I'm gonna do this right here so y'all will not come for me, okay? Nigel, look, Nigel. I am so sorry that I got upset at you for picking this book. You did a good job, okay? Mm -hmm. I will give him treats. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, now y'all can leave me alone. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually really surprised. Like I said, the audiobook made a big difference for me. And I don't know, like, does that mean the book isn't as good if it takes the... No, that's not fair. So these... There are actually two narrators. I think it's Michael and Kate Kramer, Redding, who also do Brandon Sanderson's books. And I really, really enjoyed all their voices um, um, for the audiobook. And that just totally made a different difference for me. So that means if I continue the series, I have to listen to all the audiobooks. <sighs> Wow. So this continuing non-spoiler, obviously Eye of the World is the beginning of a 14 book series. The first one does read very Tolkien-esque. Some people say that it gets less so as it goes forward, but it essentially starts in this small town with these three kids. Uh, are they kids? Maybe like 18, 19? And these two foreigners come in and they like at like the next day or the next or the same night that these two foreigners come in, uh, there's an attack on the town. And essentially it's like, well, you three who they are coming after, we need to leave basically because we need to go on this journey, kind of like, you know, to save the world. <sighs> so it definitely does set up a chosen one or chosen ones trope. Um, and then you have a, a quest and you have some people where you're like, are they on the, on the, on the right side? Are they the good guys or not? We have obviously mythical creatures and, um, items that are magical or evil. Um, we have a very, we have a very European inspired white fantasy. Like, I mean, this was written in the 1990s. I was watching my friend Steph's video, I'll link down below. And she was saying that she thought these were written a lot earlier, like the 60s and 70s. And I thought they were a lot older too. Um, but the first one was written in 1990s. And I can see why he chose Brandon Sanderson to finish writing the series because after he passed, he passed i'm assuming brandon finished uh the final books they have a very similar writing style like very simple like if there's you know it's not like 
purple prose or nothing like you know it's not robin hobb it's very simple writing um but to me that's better than it being like tolkien writing was like whoa i don't know i don't know if i'm smart enough for this and um i my biggest hang up is the descriptions like all that extra in the middle where it could be probably a hundred pages shorter at least if like i love description i know you're setting up a world this is the first book in a 14 book series but still at some point we know like certain things is like you just keep going on and on and certain things i want less descriptions on and other things i want more descriptions on so i find that that is a downside to this book or things I'm very interested in, maybe more about characters, what they look like, and certain things are less focused on instead of, you know, just the woods, the trees. And I'm like, okay, I, I know, <laughs> I know. So, um, yeah, I don't think there's a lot to be said that is non-spoilery for the first book. Obviously, it's a big setup. It does kind of... Oh, also, my other biggest critique is the ending. Like, we're building up to all of this stuff and, like something's happening the last like 100 150 pages i'm like oh my gosh and then like a couple pages and it's like solved and i'm like what wait what i had to go back and i was like huh i'm confused so and the way it's written almost is like it almost kind of wraps up the story but it you know it's not like based on everything else that's happened you know that's not <laughs> he's so sleepy you know that there are still questions and still things that have to be done. Obviously, I don't know how it goes for 14 books or 13 more books, Lord, but it's it's not a cliffhanger, um, really. I mean, like, this journey that they were going on is concluded. So it's not like we spent all these pages and then they didn't even accomplish what they set out to accomplish in this book so that's concluded but there's still things that need to be done information that needs to be uncovered you know that we still need to figure out going forward so i'm very interested to see so i'm intrigued enough to read the next one i really like morgane morgane moraine look names really like her and lan i'm very interested in them we learned a little bit more about them but i want to know more and um yeah i'm just interested on where this group of people and this story is going to go so i already own the second one which is called the great hunt so i will say maybe i'll read it next month no guarantee i requested the audio from the library but there's a wait so we'll see might be october might be november and then i'll just take it book by book i'm not gonna say that i'm gonna read all of them um but i'm also not gonna stop at this one and you know if i ever get to a point in a book where i'm like all right i don't care anymore i'll just stop because mm, do not have time to just push through books because you know what i'm saying so i'm pleasantly surprised kudos to nigel for finally getting me to read this book i've had on my shelves for like since at least 2017 2018. um the downside is if i do continue to like them beyond the great hunt i love these original fantasy covers like this they have new paperbacks which are nice but i like these old school fantasy covers and i got the first two at like half price books for like five or six dollars they do have them on amazon for like 23 dollars each at least i looked for like the third book and i'm like ugh, i don't know so we'll see there because if i continue i'm i need them all in the hardcover edition that looks like this like they have to match but anyway pleasantly surprised um i will see what i think about the next one i know i didn't give a lot of detail but i don't know i don't want to go into too much in this one maybe when i read the next one maybe it'll be spoilery but this is spoiler free i think that if you like brandon sanderson and you have an interest in reading um the wheel of time not like you feel you have to before the show like if you have an interest in reading the wheel of time and you've read brandon sanderson especially like stormlight then you should at least try this one like honestly if you can get through stormlight if you can get through the way of kings and you like that you might as well read this because it's less pages and they honestly have very similar writing and so that's who i think they would be for um or obviously maybe if you like 
uh, Lord of the Rings, which, and this does not mean 100%. Look, uh, I think Mara loves Lord of the Rings and she did not like the Eye of the World. So it's not a guarantee, but if you are a fan of Tolkien or you're a fan of Brandon Sanderson, there's a good chance that you may enjoy Robert Jordan. So I would say at least if you're curious to try the first one and definitely if you're into audiobooks, do the audio um, hybrid is like, I mean, maybe you're better than me, but with high fantasy for the first read, I can rarely ever just listen to the audio. So I usually have to do a hybrid read, but I would say audio is the way to go. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I did it. I finally finished. I finally finished. I just feel like I deserve all of the lemon Oreos. I've been eating enough, trust me. And uh, we'll have to let Nigel pick my TBR again because he did a pretty good job, huh? You did a pretty good job, huh? Okay, we're gonna do my reaction to the Wheel of Time trailer. I mean, I have seen like the first part with the water. I don't know why she's pushing old girl in the water. Whoever these people are, I don't know who they're supposed to be. Um, but I have not watched the trailer. So it's my first reaction. So I hope this works. Let's watch. There she is. Wait, who is that? Who is that? Wow, that was good. The book ain't diverse, okay? So I'm I was having a little trouble being like who people are supposed to be. There were a few people where I'm like, okay, I definitely know who that is. All of them, I would have to watch it a few more times to know exactly who everybody's supposed to be. And even then, I don't even know if I would be able to realize it, but it looks great. Like obviously they have a lot of money. So it looks like it's going to be visually stunning. Um, love who they cast for more. Rain. I keep wanting to call her Morgane. I think that dude is Lan. Um, like I said, I've seen a little bit, but not a lot. And some of it I recognize as moments from the book and some of it I didn't. So I don't know if that's just their interpretation, if that's from another book or, or you know, they just kind of changed it. But I'm very intrigued. After liking the book, seeing that it does look good and I'm very intrigued. So that was my basic reaction to the show. I'll probably watch the trailer again, but ooh, I'm ready. Am I in the club now? Am I in the Wheel of Time club now? I had just invited myself. Oh yeah. But now he's feeling, he's all riled up and awake and he wants to play. So we're gonna go. Tell the people bye. Say bye. And no video is ever complete without me thanking my amazing patrons. Shout out to Bebe's besties, Danielle, Katie, Bobby, Jen, Kristen, Leo, Kate, Terry, Emily, Jesse, Janine, Sarah, Pepper, Shannon, Kirsten, Elisabetta, Amber, Heidi, Maria, and Serena. And of course, the Nigel of Andrea stands, Maya, Rosie, Ava, Claire, Terry, Tyrell, Demery, Rainey, and Celine. And thank you so much to the friends and admirers of Bay Bay. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Say thank you, patrons. We thank you so much. Thank you for your love and support. What else? Stay hydrated, blessed, sunscreen, moisturize. Yes, what else? Check out our description box for all of the things beneath ways to support our channel. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we love you all. Okay, bye.